Hey everybody, on today's video we're going to take a look at how to make a dollar store light wand. These sell online for about $60 to $70 or you can go to the dollar store and make one for about $3. A light stick is a great photo tool to have in your toolbox. It adds another dimension to your night photography. You can draw pictures with them. You can get the kids involved with it. And then in this video, we're going to take a look on the easiest way and the cheapest way to make a light stick. Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to learn how to make a light stick from the dollar store. Couple supplies we're gonna need from around the house. We're gonna need a box knife. We're gonna need some batteries for that flashlight. We're gonna need a pair of scissors. They help, but are definitely not necessary. Then from the dollar store, I went ahead and picked up a small roll of ducking tape, a 100 lumen LED flashlight, and then this bad boy, H2O blaster. So with just a few modifications, we're gonna be able to turn this H2O blaster into an economical light stick for nighttime light painting and photography. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is open up that flashlight, get some batteries in there. Keep in mind these are dollar store flashlights. They will not last you. They will eat through batteries. The idea is to make this light stick most the most economical that we can. This one here takes three AAA batteries. And you'll get a couple hours out of the three batteries. Again, these are dollar store flashlights. So make sure it works before you assemble your light wand. We're gonna to have to do one little modification to the H2O blaster. We're gonna take our box knife and we're gonna score around the end here. Being careful not to uh, nick a finger. Close it and give it a couple good wax, and it should break right apart. The centerpiece we no longer need, so we can go ahead and dispose of that. Now these usually have some kind of lubricant oil in them. You can clean that out beforehand. Now we need to mount this flashlight on the end. And a really easy way I do it is I actually allow the plastic to flare a little. I cut about half inch slits, about four of them around the light tube. We're gonna take a small piece of ducking tape, lay it down. Put the flashlight in the light tube on the ducking tape and just roll it. You don't need too much, just a couple layers will hold it just fine. One thing you may want to be careful with is not to cover the threads of the flashlight. So once assembled, you can change the batteries. Now we actually have a hole in this one. We're gonna use a little piece of ducking tape to cover that up. That's where the water would come out. If you do not cover that up, you're gonna have a regular light bead on the end of your light stick. Keep in mind we use these at night so nobody will actually see. It doesn't have to look perfect. I've used wax. I have something to plug that hole. That's all you need. These water wands are great from the dollar store because they are two-toned. The tip is typically a different color than the body. And because we're only using a 100 lumen flashlight, both will light up equally. Avoid the high lumen flashlights such as Coast, Maglite. 
those will actually light you up too. So let's turn off the lights and see how our light stick came out. There we go, looks good. For $3 we made that, plus a couple items around the house. If you have any items you'd like to learn how to do, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And until then, this is Will from Will Downs Photography saying keep shooting.